Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie back at you with another beer review. And today I'm looking at Brogelbach beer. Looks a lot like Scheinerbach, doesn't it? The label. Hmm. Anyway, this is a store brand beer, an Aldi um, brand. Uh, Aldi is like Trader Joe's. Um, anyway, that's that's what we get here. They're very little, very small grocery stores, uh, and they have their own brands. Um, anyway, this one is actually imported from Bocholt or Bocholt, Belgium. It is brewed and bottled by the brewery Martins Kettenbrogweg 34. Anyway, it's imported by Prestige Wine and Spirits Group in Princeton, Minnesota. But it is a product of Belgium. Uh, I'll put the actual information in the description below because it's I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. Uh, but anyway, it says, Dating back to the 14th century, Bach beer and the Capricorn... Goat are a symbol of good times to come. Brogelbach captures the spirit of the original German brewmasters with Munich and amber malts, German Hallertal hops, and a dose of Czech Saz, Saz hops. <clears throat> Sounds like a really good beer. I mean, I bought a six-pack. These are the 11.2-ounce bottles, so not quite 12 ounces. But for the price you're paying... It's really not that big of a deal. It was about it was a little over seven dollars for the six pack, but this is a Belgian beer. And let's see, the best by date is April seventh, two thousand and nineteen. So we are well within the freshness date. So it poured really nicely. A nice deep amber appearance. Lots of streaming bubbles going up there. Uh, this isn't an etched glass. I don't know if you can see that. There's a glare, but there are a ton of bubbles going up. The head is nice and creamy looking. All right, so right away on the aroma, I'm picking up on, on the hops. A little citrus. A nice grassiness. A really nice herbal like thyme or sage or, or something along those lines. It smells really good. You are getting the uh, barley malt after you cut through the hops, you're getting some of that roasted barley malt. A very, very pleasant aroma. Now the IBUs are not listed. The ABV is not listed. Um, but the estimated ABV is 5%. I looked at several different websites. Uh, so, can't say with certainty, but it's around a 5% alcohol beer. I would imagine the hops are probably in the 30s, 40s. It smells pretty hoppy. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get into it. Cheers, guys. Alright. A nice, sweet, medium roasted barley malt presence. A good hop bite. A balanced hop bite. It's not overly bitter. It's not overly, I mean, it's it's just where it needs to be. Um, and the different types of hops that they're using give it a nice flavor profile. A little bit of caramel sweetness going on a nice earthiness to it um, a little citrus a little pine that nice bready note is just hitting hitting the spot right in the middle of the sip mm. 
drops off really nicely on the back end. It's got a nice crisp finish, dry. Makes you want to go right back in for another sip. Even though this is a roasted beer, it's a little bit darker than your standard lager. It is very light bodied, very sessionable, but it's not lacking in the flavor department at all. It is very complex, very, very good. Mm. Excellent Belgian beer sold at Aldi grocery stores. If you have Aldi in your area, I would highly recommend that you go out and buy this beer. It is it's really really enjoyable. Did not have Aldi in uh you know, where I lived before I moved out here to Georgia, and they only have them in certain parts of Georgia. I've lived in two different cities, big cities in Georgia. Um, this Aldi thing is new to me. They have a lot of different beers, uh, store brand beers that you can only buy at Aldi that I'm really looking forward to trying. This Brogelbach beer, though, um, is really, really good. Uh, let me get one more sip, and I'll give you guys a rating. I mean, it's just a nice-looking beer. Look at the lacing on the going down the glass there it's very filtered you know there's no floaties sediment it's super crystal clear not hazy at all I mean it looks like a great Bach beer and it is so last set rating I mean it is a solid a beer probably a little bit better than a 95 so I'm going to go 96 out of 100. It's getting up there towards world class. For a store brand beer, I mean, you just, this is as good as it gets. I've heard horror stories about some of the Trader Joe's beers. Um, but this beer is definitely worthwhile. And it is actually made in Belgium, too, which is is pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, it is a, it's a 96 out of 100 all day long. Could even argue that it's higher than that. This is an excellent, excellent beer, and I highly recommend that you go out and buy the Brogelbach if you can find it. Try it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, the label may be similar to Shinerbach, but this has a heck of a lot more flavor and uh, complexity than the Shinerbach does, and is a much better overall beer. So, uh, I mean, they don't, they're not even in the same ballpark. Um, so, anyway... That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend, and until next time, everybody, cheers.